this uh, this little video is about about my guitars and guitar in general and what I think and yeah, just a little bit about guitar and like some some thoughts from me. The guitars that I keep on my wall in my room. These four. It's the only ones I keep in my room. The other ones are elsewhere. Right, so yeah, this is a video about my guitars. I got like a whole agenda. Prepare. Basically, right, start this off. The the main reason why I play guitar is because my dad played guitar when I was younger. And um, whenever I used to be in the shower or the bath or whatever, I used to be able to hear him in the next room over playing with guitar. And I used to think, that's cool. I used to literally, true story, my inspiration for what I play guitar was my dad. And he knows he's not the best guitarist in the world, but he inspired me to play. And that, that uh, yeah, that's where it all started, just hearing my dad play guitar when I was younger and I wanted to learn how to play and be like him really, like most kids do, they want to be like one of their parents or what have you, so that's, that's who inspired me. Um, one of the main songs I used to play when I was younger that I thought was the best was a song called All Right Now. Um, <laughs> I'll try and put that in the video, hopefully it won't be too popular, but yeah, that was one of the songs that really got me into the wanting to play. But yeah, from then, I went on and got my first guitar for Christmas, which was this one here, which is a mate called Jim Deacon. I don't know if they're well known or not, to be honest with you, but yeah, Jim Deacon guitars. I had that for Christmas, and uh... Yeah, it's a semi-acoustic guitar. It's it's my baby really. Is a it's well dinged up on the back. It's got a little scratches from like belt buckles and stuff. But yeah, it's still my baby. But yeah, that was my first ever guitar. I think I got that when I was I don't know what age I was, but I was young. But yeah, thanks for that sheep in. Yeah, that was my first ever guitar. Uh, then I went on to get a few more. I got, like, I got an electric one, which was like a Stratocaster. A uh, copy from Asta, I think it was. It came as a kit with a stand and an amp and a strap and stuff. And yeah, that was the first, that was when I first discovered distortion, much to my parents' dismay. <laughs> I loved playing with distortion. That was that was the thing. That was that was my go-to option. Like, as everyone does when they first find their first distortion pedal. But yeah, it was built in on the amp. It was like a little ten watt tube amp, and uh, it was good. It was good. I did like it. Uh, my latest guitar, one I bought most recently, is this one here. I didn't give you, which is the Epiphone Les Paul. There's a whole video on this guitar on my channel about it. I do love it. I just always loved the Les Paul ever since I uh, first seen Slash and heard what Slash can do. I always wanted one thinking if you had the same guitar, I don't know what that was up. Thinking if you had the same guitar, you'd be able to play exactly the same, but that's not how it works. But yeah, that's my latest and my favourite. I know I got a Gibson SG on the end, but. That's my latest and my favourite. My dream guitar is that gold top by Gibson. So Gibson, if you're watching this, you fancy being nice, send it to me. I love you forever. But yeah, that ain't get that by Gibson. My amp is nine six. That one. Yeah, I know there's a lot of mess in it, but that's my amp. That's what I use. It's a good little amp, 75 watts for uh, for <laughs> bedroom use only really, is a bit overkill, but yeah, I use that amp doing everything, it's got presets in for like all different kinds of songs and you can make your own presets using the uh, using the different one, the different knob there, it's got a built in like phaser, chorus, gain, auto wire, pitch swap, tremolo, sweep echo, anyway yeah you got to drift. Things like that, I highly recommend that amp. 
is going for cheap now as well. I've broke mine a little bit because I broke the uh, little knob off of the uh, preset switch. Also, line six, if you're watching. <laughs> I'll be making loads of videos because they send me loads of free stuff, hopefully. But yeah, the main reason why I use that amp is because it is, it is a big, powerful amp if you ever needed to gig outside and what have you, and it's, it's definitely got the guts to do that. But whereas it can be also go down low volume and you still you don't lose any of that high gain. I don't know if you're not aware about it, but when you switch down on some amps, you lose a lot of high gain. And it's just it sounds awful. But on that one, quite lucky you don't really. So that's why I use that. What I want to do in the future, this pen's drying out, oh well, fantastic. What I want to do in the future, ideally I would like to go into a band, but I don't really know anyone that would want to do a band. I mean, well, I do, but it's just a case of getting time to get together and actually doing it. But yeah. What music do I like to play? What, what type of music I like ranges from really old, because obviously, not being mean, but my dad's older than me, shall we say. So he has an older taste in music. He likes to send me this kind of music. I was brought up listening to Slade and Queen and stuff. So yeah, it goes from like that kind of band, like those kind of bands, to like newer stuff like Coldplay and Kings of Leon and anything really. I honestly listen to anything, I give anything to try and see what it's like. And if I like a song, I'll play it on guitar, well I learn to. But yeah, that's what music I like to play. About Slash from Guns N' Roses, because that's the main reason why I like Les Paul. I just, I don't know, he was just different, he was just, he just looked cool whenever I've seen him on like stage on, on films on the TV and stuff, I've never been lucky enough to actually see him in real life, but whenever you see him on like stage and that, he always just looks so cool, with his big top hat and his long curly hair, I'm not saying I want long curly hair, but yeah, uh, why well, I think guitars help me, yeah I don't know, it just helps you, it helps you express yourself if you like, if you learn an instrument because I mean it's it's a way of getting your emotions out there without having to talk to anyone. That's why I like it anyway because you can play a song, you can play angry music, you can play happy music to like, express how you feel, and you don't have to speak to anyone, which is the best part. That's what that's why I like about it. I think it's important. I really I think most more people should learn to play an instrument because. For that reason, it's a way of expressing yourself and it's keep your brain stimulated. It's good. Why I wish I had proper lessons. Don't get me wrong, my dad taught me all he knew, which is enough. It's enough for me to get by. I mean, I can play a guitar, I can, I can read music to a certain extent. But I wish I had lessons so that I could, like, just pick up a song and be like straight through it, you know what I mean, whereas now it takes a little bit of time to work it out, break it down and move through it, whereas you watch people that's had lessons and they can just pick up a bit of music and go, yeah, this is it, which is, which is cool, so yeah, if you're thinking about learning guitar, learn properly, it's alright you're watching YouTube videos and that, but it's not the same as a lesson, um, why I think guitar is a free instrument, what I mean by that is, you're not limited to like if you had a piano or whatever you can't take a piano down the street and play it whereas a guitar you can you can sit on the corner of the road and busk or whatever if you wanted to or take it like up in your car and drive and then sit somewhere and play it whereas you can't really do that with a piano don't get me wrong you could, probably, you could do it with a keyboard like if it was a battery powered one you could easily do that but it's not as easy as it is with a guitar like I could take the acoustic guitars out in the car go somewhere and play them and then that's, that's all I need. Whereas with that, you need a bit more. So that's why I think guitar is quite like a three instrument. I feel like I'm like looping myself now. But yeah, to summarize, what I mean is, well, guitar has been quite a key part of my life. I mean, it's helped me. It's helped me have some common ground with new people, and it's like a good, it's a good topic to start with. I mean, like if most people like music. They're, they're, they're 
choice in music obviously varies within person to person but it's a good opening start I mean, are you, do you play an instrument and obviously you say that you do and then obviously you, s you say what you play and what style you like and then it just gets the ball rolling when you meet new people I just think it's it's, it's a good start and also I think it gives you, it gives you an option to be creative and like play your own stuff and write your own music and well, you don't have to I mean like, you can play you can play covers of songs and you'll still be expressing yourself in the way you play it I think that's that's the most important thing about guitar is the way you play it it's not what you play or how you play but it's, it's, it's what it's like how you play it and why you're playing it it's like you can play a happy song you can play a sad song but you can play a happy song and then change the chord, like keep the same chord, and just change the way you're playing it, and it becomes a sad song. It's, it's all the variance you take on it, and that's why I think guitar is probably, in my opinion, the best instrument to play. I think it's it's, it's very. I'm gonna use the word therapeutic, and yeah, I I think it's very therapeutic to play guitar. I mean. Don't get me wrong, most people will probably comment saying no, I think piano is more, but each to their own, but that's what I think, and I definitely would recommend you learn, and if you were looking at learning to play guitar, I'd highly recommend it, but yeah, thanks for watching this video, take care.